Well, I'm building out a summer course, so look forward to some summer courses that are new and different that are um, interactive, um, used inside Google Classroom. So I'm building out the course that way. Um, I'll still be the facilitator, so I'll still be available to you, but that's really not what this video is about. What this video is about is um, practice sets. Practice sets are just pushed down. You probably all have them. You just either have noticed them and thought, I can't learn another thing, or you have um, noticed them and puttered with it a bit. So let me explain what practice sets are. I'm using them now to build this course out. So this is module one, and I have you working through different parts of this, um, this course. But I have this apply section that I've created, um, and I've created a practice set, and it looks like this. It's, it's a little document that's attached here. It's kind of that green color. And what it is, is it's uh, like a maybe a, a exit ticket, a quiz, a little quiz, very similar to Google Forms. You build this out. The beautiful thing about it is Google has used or harnessed AI, artificial intelligence, so that if a student gets stumped on a particular uh, question, it can push out a video to help them. It can also push out maybe a little practice or a hint, that sort of thing. The way I use practice sets is really just like I would use Google Forms. Um, it also allows you to check your work ahead of time. So if you get it wrong, then you can go back and recheck it. Um, so it's, I'm using it that way. The way I think you guys would go crazy with it is some of the math stuff. So I'm going to show you some of the math and some of the, um, again, the AI features in there. I don't have the ability to do that here, but let me just show you real quickly where you find practice sets. So if you're in classwork, and you go to create, you can create an assignment. You actually have down here practice sets. So you can go and what it does is it's almost like creating it for you in a, um, a Google Drive. So it keeps them all here for you. This is the one that I just created, but I can create with a plus sign that way. They're also, let me just show you inside Google Classroom. Um, oh, and then so if I wanted to use that one, all I would do is go and uh, attach it. Um, click there and attach this particular one. Click on it once and it loads it there for you and hit attach. I can edit it or change it or whatever. I can try it out as a student. So there's some really neat things, but to create it for the first time, that's what you would do is you would just hit create and then you would just like Google form, you have all kinds of options here and um, you have what's, this is the AI part that I'm not able to use because really there's not an AI part um, for Google. Uh, for the topics that I'm using, but like algebra, I could put in algebra and it gives me solve and algebraic inequalities, um, identify parts of an algebraic expression. So whatever your question has to do with, um, let me also put states, an idea that it works with all topics. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. States and um, explain every state has their own constitution, describe federal, you know, and you have to kind of putter through, be more specific, maybe locate states or, um, oh, there we go, identify states located in each geographical region in, um, so you could attach that. And then it gives this little hint right here, problem solving little um, uh, light bulb. Um, the, if the student has a problem, they can click on that. It's, it's cool. There's some neat things. Go play with it. Let me know what you think of it. Take care. Practice sets.